Dan Ullman and Mike Beer are taking a look at race number eight at Churchill Downs on Saturday. Here's the field for the Pocahontas. It is a grade three for two-year-old fillies going a mile and a 16th on the dirt. A full field. We should expect a fast pace. And on the ones and twos, the number four is five to two on the morning line. Beaten favorite in her last two. She ran a big fig two starts back at Churchill. Well, she certainly has the figs in her favor, Dan. Um, and she, I like that she has some experience, too. We'll see how far she wants to go, and, you know, we'll see uh, what kind of trip she gets in here. I thought this was, no matter who winds up being the favorite, Dan, I thought this was a pretty hard uh, hard race to take a short price on. I agree completely. We'll throw out the time form U.S. pace projector. You'll note that there is a red bar situation. I expect the pace to be honest to fast. Two-year-old fillies, very quick. Many of them stretching out. Hidden connection should show speed in this race. On the ones and twos has shown some rating ability in the past. I would expect her to be sitting in mid-pack. Maybe the 10 Lemieux. I know she's coming out of a slow-paced three-horse race. Maybe she'll show a little bit of speed this time around. I can see a lot of horses going forward in, in here. As you mentioned, you know, just so many horses stretching out for the first time in here. It's a big field. Guy, you know, these guys are going to be going for position early. Um, so I won't be surprised if the pace is fast. I have no idea who's going to be on the lead. The race didn't come back fast, but the one code for success I thought made a nice impression in her debut. The race will show you right now going three quarters of a mile at Ellis Park. She is a daughter of Honor Code, and as you see turning into the stretch, she still has a lot of work to do, but she's going to pass these three horses in front of her. I just think it was kind of a weak field she beat on this day. I, I think it probably was, too. I just thought that she did some good things in here, Dan. Um, to me, anyway, just going six furlongs, she looked like a horse early in the race who didn't really want to sprint at all. I mean, she was under a ride basically the entire way just to keep up. And once she got clear on the stretch, I like the way that she closed that race down. I um, mean, she was still going under the wire. I think more distance is great for her. She's got a good post on the inside. I'm using this horse. I agree, and she's uh, 20 to 1 on the morning line from a physical standpoint, a big, strong, good-looking daughter of uh, Honor Code. It looks like she'll appreciate the distance. Goddess of Fire has pedigree. She's a half-sister to Mind Control, multiple grade one winner around one turn, but the mine shaft on the top of her pedigree might give her a little bit of stamina. Here she is scoring six and a half furlongs in her career debut. She had worked well prior to her debut. I thought at two to one, she was a little bit cold on the board, but she's going to keep grinding and grinding and grinding and catch this loose leader, a horse with experience on her. Yeah, I mean, a lot of ground to make up. Even past the eighth pole still had a lot of work to do, but she just kept coming. Um, she gets up. I don't, you know, it's not the, you know, the fanciest uh, debut win in the world, but I guess just that she got it done is a good sign for her. It'll be interesting to see if she can stretch out. And as you sort of alluded to, mind control, her uh, half-brother, he couldn't stretch out. They didn't try it very often, but uh, he bombed at the Breeders' Cup when they tried to stretch him out. He was by a Travers winner himself. So uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if this filly can stretch. The three Mama Rina is going to try dirt for the first time. She scored by a nose last time out, winning at this distance on turf for Kenny McPeak, who does well with two-year-old surface switches. This one's by First Crop Stallion Gormley and is a half-sister to a two-year-old graded place dirt sprinter named Spirituality. Uh, we'll see what we get on dirt. Yeah, it feels like the kind of horse that you at least, uh, you know, want to keep an open mind about because, as you mentioned, McPeak has a pretty good record with horses like this. He doesn't mind switching around surfaces with these horses. You already know this horse can go long. Um, and she showed a little bit of uh, improved speed last time, too. So I can see her getting a good trip in here. On the ones and twos, two big figures at Churchill Downs to kick off her career, a debut win at five-eighths, a runner-up effort in the debutante going three quarters. Last time, it just didn't break very well in the Adirondack, and I wonder if that worked against her as the beaten favorite. The third horse in that race, solid, came back to run third in the grade one spin away, albeit well beaten with a 75 buyer. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's all about distance for her. Um, she certainly has some ability. She should be forward in this race. I, I don't know if she wants to stretch out or not, and I don't know if I would want a short price on her, Dan, but I guess in some ways she's the horse to beat. Majestic Dioro, I think, is a dangerous contender for Brendan Walsh, despite the fact she's stretching out a full three furlongs and only her second lifetime start. Daughter of Spitester made a nice impression rallying to win her debut. She came from off the pace, and she earned a respectable 72 buyer. Yeah, agreed. I mean, she looked a little green to me early in that race. Got it over behind horses on the inside. I don't know if she liked that that much, but she got out into the clear in the stretch, and she won that race very easily. 
Maxine Machine, the number six, goes out for trainer Brad Cox. This was a debut winner going a two-turn mile on turf at Ellis Park. You look at the pedigree, you got to think Dirt's going to be okay. She's by Pioneer of the Nile, sire of Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh. This dam was a grade one stakes winner sprinting at Saratoga. Yeah, there was plenty of dirt in the pedigree. It's interesting that they debuted her um, on the grass, and maybe that was just to get a little bit of distance underneath her, Dan, to, to get the mile on her. Either way, I thought she ran really well in that race. She did sit a pretty good trip in there, um, but once she came clear in the stretch, she ran that leader right over in the stretch and kept going, and I, I really liked the way that she won first time out. Another horse trying dirt for the first time is from the Tom Amos barn. That's the seven knees and hips. This is a daughter of cigar mile winner connect. So there is some dirt pedigree up top, but a lot of turf pedigree on the bottom. She sprinted twice on the turf, liked the way she won her debut at Ellis Park. And she ran okay over testing ground in the Bolton's landing last time. I agree. I liked her career debut quite a bit. Um, I bet her in the Bolton landing and thought that she uh, ran very well on that race too, without a great trip, Dan. Um, I think this filly has talent. I don't know about, you know, dirt and stretching out in distance um, after just these two races, but I do think she has some ability. Big price on the eight, Miss Chamita. This is a daughter of Travers winner, Keen Ice. Added blinkers, added Lasix, added a victory at Indiana Grand last time out going two turns. She won that race very easily. The Lasix comes off, and this is a big step up. It is. And, you know, even though they made the changes and she got an open length win last time, it's not like she really improved over her prior dirt race where she finished third. I mean, the figure still came back a little light. She's going to be a huge price in here. Another daughter of Connect is in here, and that's the nine, Hidden Connection, who ran away and hid from a field of sprinters at Colonial in her career debut for trainer Brett Calhoun, who does very well with these young horses. Not only did she win very easily, she won with a fig in 84, and if she runs back to that race, she'll be tough, but she has to stretch all the way out. Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what she does. Obviously, she was you know, visually impressive when she won, um, and she got the big figure for it. I'm going to you know, take a five and a half furlong um, sprint figure with a grain of salt uh, for a first time starter. We'll see if she can back that race up. Lemieux is a little bit slow on paper, Mike, but she's faced some pretty good horses. I mean, happy soul. Uh, she was really, really precocious and fast winning that debut in May. Misinterpret, I think, is pretty good over that muddy track second out. And then Lemieux found a field she could handle. Let's watch that race. Off Turkey, seven-eighths of a mile, two other horses. Lemieux took no prisoners. She wins easily. Only a 55 buyer speed figure. I think there's more in the tank for this daughter of my Nyquist. I think there probably is too. Um, so to me, it will just come down to price, Dan, what kind of price she is in this race because she had run well enough in her first two starts to to consider her going forward. Obviously, this was a race where, you know, she was main track only. She wasn't going to lose to these two horses. So the jury's still out on how good she is. I happen to think she's okay. And if she's a good enough price, I could throw her in there. Tough outside post for the 11 Joy Runner, a daughter of Gun Runner going out for Mattress Mac and Laura Wollers. Two for two, visually impressive both times at Indiana Grand. Tough outside post position. Not sure what she beat last time out, but boy, she looked good doing it. I agree. I think she's looked good in both of her starts. Um, even the first one on the sloppy track, she didn't get away from the gate that well, but she just improved her position all the way around there. Won easily, um, kept closer to the pace last time, um, going a little bit longer. I don't. I think she's going to be fine stretching out. I think this horse is a player in here. There are many different ways to go in the Pocahontas, but as we take a look at our top picks, I'm a little bit surprised we landed on the same horse, and that's Maxine Machine. Usually not my kind of horse trying a new surface in a stakes race against proven horses on dirt, but she has the dirt pedigree. I really respect these connections, and I liked her debut. I thought it was good, even though, as you mentioned, she had a very nice trip. I agree with all that stuff. I, I just thought she ran really well first time out, and her pedigree suggests that she's supposed to be fine on the main track. We'll see if she is. 61171 for Mike, 69115 for me, the grade three Pocahontas, one of three graded races at Churchill on Saturday. Good luck.